Notice Chicago Bears walking with a little more pep this morning after the first round of the NFL draft. The Bears selected quarterback Caleb Williams with the first overall pick, then grabbed receiver Rome Adunze with the ninth pick. The Bears hope the duo can add some much-needed punch to their offense, but that wasn't the only headline of the night. ABC's Danny New has more. The 2024 NFL Draft kicked off in the Motor City Thursday with Mr. Michigan himself, Marshall Mathers, a.k.a. Eminem. Was that enough M's? Plenty of other staples to enjoy, such as the fashion statements. Reigning Heisman winner Jaden Daniels from LSU sporting a baby blue suit, while the Heisman winner from two years ago, Caleb Williams of USC, wearing a navy double-breasted zip-up, as he called it. Classy, unique, one of one. Intentionally, that Navy coordinated perfectly with the Bears' Navy in orange as Williams then got taken first overall by Chicago, as expected. But still, Bears fans were quite elated to maybe finally have their quarterback of the future, and Williams' father was understandably emotional taking it all in. It's been a long time, you know, from uh, hotel room in San Antonio to, to uh, 12, 13, 14 years later, just doing the same thing over and over Dreams do come true. Jaden Daniels. But Williams was not even close to the only QB taken, no. For the first time ever, six of the first 12 picks were quarterbacks. One draft day ritual actually had a little speculation coming in, the hug. You know, usually players are so excited, they may squeeze the commissioner as tightly as possible, but Goodell actually had back surgery a few weeks ago? Well. Careful now, here we go. Guess Alabama offensive lineman J.C. Latham didn't hear as he hoists his future boss with all of his 6'6", 342-pound frame. Here's what Goodell had to say about it after the draft. <laughs> Danny New, ABC News, New York. Oh, goodness. Poor Goodell. Poor Goodell. And the NFL draft continues tonight at 6 p.m. right here on WQAD News 8. The Buffalo Bills are on the clock.